This question 14, and it's a question about two way tables. So I'm going to go through each piece of information and try and add it to the two way table here. So it says that 11 of the 20 female students said swimming. So I can first of all put that here because where the two, where the column swimming and the female students meet is where I'm going to write that number in. And we're also then told that two of the male students said tennis. So again, that's on the tennis column and it's the male students. So that can go there. And it says that five students said cricket. So this would be the total of both the male students and the female students. So that's going to be five and that's going to go there. So to continue filling in the table, anything, any column or row that has only got one thing missing in it, we can actually fill that value in. So we can see that because this total column here adds up to 30, then the values in it should add up to 30. So we can see that that 20 plus the value here must make 30. So that means that must be 10. The next bit of information we're going to use is that the, um, the number of male students who like cricket is the same as the number of male students who said swimming. So this value here and this value here are the same. And also we know that because two like tennis and the total is 10 there, then this plus this must be the difference between two and 10. So the cricket for the males plus the cricket for the swimming, for the male swimmers must be adding up to eight. So the only way that could work if they were both the same would be if that was four and also that was four. Now that gives us another column where we've only got one thing missing, which is this column here, the swimming column. And we can see if we want to find the total. Well, if we've got four male students who like swimming and 11 female students who like swimming, the total who like swimming is going to be 15. If we look at anything else that might be missing, we can see that the total for the cricket is five. So since four male students like cricket, then that must mean that one female student must also like cricket. And then if we look at the row for female students, we've got 20 female students in total. But if only one likes cricket and 11 likes swimming, together they make 12. So we need eight more. So that means eight like tennis. And then we can fill in the tennis column now because we've only got one missing on that and we can just add the two and the eight together and that makes 10 that's the total for the tennis and then if we read across on this one we can see i'm just going to check really that this one is is correct now because the last number that i put in should be right both for the column so reading down and the row reading across so I can see that five plus 10 is 15 plus another 15 does give me 30. So that's correct. And we've finished the question. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has, please consider subscribing to our channel and also giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.